I have many great qualities, but patience is not one of them. When I read on CNN about the discovery of Ross 128b, an Earth-like planet 11 light years away, orbiting a sun fast approaching our sun, I quickly shared the information with you. Based on the fact that Ross 128 will be the star closest to our sun in 79,900 years, I calculated Ross 128's speed to be 14.6 miles per second. I then reached the conclusion that Ross 128 may be our sun's twin star, and its habitable planet Ross 128b may be the legendary Nibiru. Actually, calling that Nibiru landed me in trouble quickly. Nibiru enthusiast felt Nibiru is near or already here. Calling something 11 light years away was a big insult. While for the few people who were about to watch my video, calling it Nibiru gave them a reason to turn me off. But I just have to share this amazing find because we just found a planet that very likely can sustain intelligent life. And it will be our closest neighbor in just 79,900 years. But I realized that I have to do more research, so I did. What I found was so interesting that it would be a sin if I didn't share. As it turned out, there are so many stars dancing around us. Assuming the data is correct, Ross 128 is not the only star close to us, moving quickly towards us, and has possible habitable planets. And guess what? It also is not the fastest star moving towards us. The winner of the closest, fastest, and coming first towards us is Barnard's star, currently only six light years away, in the constellation of Ophiuchus. It was found in 1888 and measured in 1916 as having the largest proper motion of any star relative to the Sun. So it is fair to say it is the fastest approaching star. And scientists believe it is one of the oldest stars in our Milky Way galaxy with an age of 7 to 12 billion years old. Our Sun is only 4.5 billion years young. It is quite inspiring that an old star can move faster than the youngsters. Actually, Barnard's star moves at 90 kilometers per second. That is 56 miles per second. That's five times faster than my initial speed calculation of Ross 128. No wonder scientists believe it will only be 3.75 light years away in AD 11,800. That means moving three light years towards us in just 11,000 years. It may not be fast enough to ruin your travel plans, but it shows how fast celestial objects can move. But don't worry, scientists say it will move away as quickly as it will move towards us in 11,000 years. And scientists also said Barnard's star has giant planets like Jupiter's. Because if it does, we would have found it. They can't rule out that Barnard's star may have Earth-like planets, but chances of finding them dropped when NASA shut down funding in 2010 on space interferometry missions which were designed to study Barnard's star. Barnard's may be the fastest, but it fell short to claim the closest spot. As our current closest neighbor, Alpha Centauri star system is also moving towards us. As you may have noticed from this chart, Centauri moved from about six light years away to its current distance of 4.2 light years from us in just 20,000 years. And it is expected to move one light year closer to us in another 20,000 years. Centauri has three stars. The two brighter stars, Centauri A is about 1.1 times the size of our sun, while Centauri B is about 90% the mass of our sun. 
the two orbiting a common center every 79.91 years. The two twin suns' small cousin, Alpha Centauri C, better known as Proxima Centauri, is a red dwarf with 12.3% of the mass of our Sun. Proxima Centauri is loosely gravitationally bound and orbiting the two main stars from 0.21 light years away. In 2016, scientists found Proxima Centauri b, an Earth-sized exoplanet in a habitable zone. Although scientists later gave many reasons as to why they don't think that exoplanet is too life-friendly, finding an exoplanet this close in a habitable zone is a huge discovery in itself. Plus, how can we know what life is in outer space? Maybe aliens feed off of radiation and solar storms, right? Centauri stars are supposed to move away from us in about 30,000 years. And then 33,000 years from now, Ross 248 will become our closest star. Ross 248 is currently 10.30 light years away, but 36,000 years from now, it will only be 3.024 light years from us. Scientists thought Ross 248 may have a brown dwarf as a companion, but they have not yet confirmed that. We don't know much about it, other than that it moves super fast towards us and will be very close very soon. After Ross 248's close encounter with our Sun, Gliese 445 will become the Sun's closest star in 45,000 years. It will be 3.45 light years away before flying away. Gliese 445 is currently 17.6 light years away. And for it to travel 14 light years in 45,000 years, can you imagine how fast it has to be? In 2013, scientists found Lumen 16, two brown dwarfs 6.5 light years away from us. It was moving away from us, but 36,000 years ago, it was only 5.05 light years away. These two tiny dwarfs are only about 600 to 800 million years old, and they orbit each other every 27 years. Of course, who can forget Ross 128? It may be 11 light years away now, but it will be our Sun's closest neighbor in 79,000 years. And its planet Ross 128b is, is about Earth size, with pleasant climate and low solar radiation. While unlike the other stars that will make a quick drop by and leave, they are supposed to continue its approach to us. Now, you know about the Sun's closest stars, Centauri A, B, and C. You learned about the star fast track to us, the Barnard Star. And then I showed you when to expect Ross 248's fast approach. Ross 128 and its Earth-like planet. The super young Lumen Brown stars and now I will show you what we found on the closest sun-like star, Tau Ceti. Tau Ceti is a star in the constellation Cetus, only 12 light years away and a solitary G-class star. It has probably five planets, with two of them in the habitable zone. Because Tau Ceti is a sun-like star with a similar mass and age, it's two possible habitable planets and proximity to our solar system may be why we will soon know if we can put them on our tourist map. Because we love our Sun, we tend to think the best chance to find life will be on Sun-like stars. However, a recent discovery in October 23, 2017 found a Sun-like star 350 light-years away called Kronos. Kronos is the name of a Greek god who ate his own children. It is part of a binary star system. It orbits its brother Kyrios every 10,000 years. The star has unusually high rock-forming minerals. And according to scientists, the mineral content is probably 
from the 15 Earth mass rocky planets it feasted on. We all know one day our Sun will eliminate Mercury, Venus, and then Earth. But Kronos and Kyrgios are only 4 billion years old. If they already fed on their 15 planets, how much longer do you think our Sun would have an appetite towards us? Don't forget, our Sun is already 4.6 billion years old. Remember I said that the more we know, the more we know we don't know. I thought I found our Sun's twin when I learned about Ross 128. Now, I know our Sun has so many stars nearby dancing around. I no longer know if our Sun has a partner to perform its dance routine. I also do not know if another unknown dancer is waiting nearby to join the party. This is Ken Peters. Thank you for watching.